In 2008, the Oregon legislature passed a law that would require proof of citizenship status in order for families to be able to get a driver's license. Not having a driver's license in the next few years is kind of scary to think about. You know, since we live on the farm, the closest transportation, public transportation, is about a maybe a five mile walk. Que probablemente las personas que no han pasado por esa situación no entienden el grado y magnitud que es ese problema. No solamente afecta una sola, un solo punto de la vida, afecta en general todo, porque el no manejar es como quitarle a uno un pie o los dos, porque no puede uno moverse. For me to walk five miles to get to a bus to go to school, you know, it's not safe at all out here in the country roads. Pues tengo a mis dos hijos y ahorita tengo una licencia, pero no sé hasta cuándo. No sé qué es lo que vaya a pasar y el no saberlo es lo que intriga mucho y el la inestabilidad de saber el futuro de mis hijos, que es lo que lo que a mí más me importa. In US culture, it is an extremely important symbolic rite of passage to get a driver's license and be able to drive. And for a state to deny that privilege to people of any stripe is to deny them their personhood, their identity, and independence, and essentially their equality. It's very important to me because, I mean, my parents are very safe, responsible, and like they take me to school, places that many other people don't get to go to. And that is why it is important to vote for people to have licenses. Please vote so my voice can be heard as well as my family's. And this is definitely needed in our community, not just the Latino community, but other communities that are affected by not being eligible to drive. Now this November, it's up to the Oregon voters to decide. On November 4th of 2014, we're asking you to support safe roads, safe families, and safe communities by saying yes to the Oregon driver's card.